Okay, in this video we're going to uh, take a number and break it down into its prime factors and uh, try to at least and then uh, tell say whether it's a prime number or a composite number. Okay, so we'll do these examples here all the way to the, to the number 17. So let's start with 25 and I guess what a lot of people like to do is just kind of do uh, a little tree like that but but 25 is what times what? What goes into 25? Is it uh, 5 times 5, right? Okay. So basically 25 is 5 times 5, so the prime factors, um, I'll, I'll write it, you know, I'll, we'll just write like, okay, 5 times 5, right? Now, this is not a prime number, it's actually a composite number, because it can be broken down into um, something other than just uh, 25 times 1. If you could just make it right as 25 times 1 then it would be a prime number. Okay. So let's look at 29. How, how can we break can we break 29 down? What goes into 29? Well uh, 2 won't go in because this is an, e an odd uh, number at the, at the end here isn't it? Uh, 3 3 doesn't go in, does 4 go into that? No, 5 doesn't go in because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0, right? 6, 6 go in there 7, 8, 9, 10 No, so um, basically this is a prime number because the, the most we can split it up into is simply 29 times 1 so I mean the the only prime factors we have here are you know twenty nine times one. Um, so this is in fact a prime number, not a composite number. So numbers either prime or composite, one or the other, right? Put an or there to minus to that. Okay. So if you take sixteen, break sixteen down as far as you can. Well, first of all, sixteen is four times four, isn't it? And can't you break that down further? Okay, so we're going to break this down into its prime factors. So four, this four here, you see, is two times two, isn't it? <clears throat> right, and you can break this four down as well. To be what? Two times two, right? So the number 16 can be broken down to be two times two times two times two. And these are the prime factors of uh, 16. So. We'll just write it, write it in a list like this. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And is this a prime number? Certainly not because it, it can be broken down into something other than just 16 times 1. If, if, you, if, it was that, if that's the best we could have done then it's a prime number. But it, it, can, be, it can be really so this is in fact a composite number. Right? <coughs> okay, how about 31? See if you can figure out 31. So you can press, if you want time, you can just press pause on the video and uh, figure it out. And then I'll do it. Okay, so 31 is, um, does 3 go into it? No, because 3 into 3 goes once and then 3 into 1 doesn't go. So uh, does 2 go in? 2 doesn't go in because that's odd. 4 doesn't go in there. 5, no, because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. A 6. 7, 8, no, so 31 of course is just can only be written 31 times 1, that's the best we can do so the prime factors of that would be just 31 times 1, that's all you can do with it it is in fact a prime number, it's not a composite number right? okay so break 12 down into its prime factors so break it down as far as you can get it Okay, so 12 is 4 times 3, but can you break 4 down now? Well, 4 is 2 times 2, isn't it? So 12 can be broken down to be 2 times 2 times 3, basically, right? So 2 times 2 times 3, and that's the prime factors of 12. Is it a prime number or a composite number? 
It can be composed of different numbers. So it is, in fact, a composite number. OK, press pause and do 28. Break 28 down to its prime factors. OK, now I'll try 28 is 7 times what? 7 goes in there, isn't it? You might know your times tables, hopefully. 7 times 4, right? And 4 is... Two times two. So twenty-eight can be written seven times four or seven times two times two. Right? Seven times two is fourteen. Fourteen times two is twenty-eight. Right? And is it prime or composite? It is indeed composite. Right? So let's do these guys. Three hundred and ten, one hundred and two, two ninety-four, and seventeen is the end. Hey. So uh, we'll start with three hundred and ten. Now. I don't know what you want to do first, but um, I mean, you might think, well, two goes into that thing, right? Because uh, because it's an even number. So if you did that, you do a, a little bit of uh, kind of kind of long division. But two into three, you see, goes once remainder 1, right? Then you go 2 into 11. What's 2 into 11? Well, 2 into 10, you see, goes 5 times, so that's 5 remainder 1, right? And now 2 into 10 goes 5 times, right? So 310 is in fact 2 times 155. I'm sure we can split the 155 up into a couple of factors anyway. So 155, what goes into that do you think? Take a guess. Well the number ends in a 5. So if the number ends in a 5, you'd probably say probably say 5 goes into it, right? <clears throat> so we'll try that, 5 into that, right? And you just just ignore, just start with 5 into 1 won't go, but 5 into 15. How about that? 5 into 15? 3 times, and 5 into 5? Once, right? So, 155 is, of course, 5 times 31. And can we split 31 up? Well, we've seen that earlier, didn't we? So, 31 is prime number, so we can't split this up any further. So, 310 is, in fact, 2 times 5 times 31, right? So the prime factors are 2 times 5 times 31. Is it a prime number or a composite number? Composite. All right. So press pause and see if you can work on 102, or, or, or I'll do it with you, whichever. OK. So you can either press pause and, and then skip the video ahead and check your answer with me, or, or you can work along with me, whichever. 102, um, what should we try? So we try 2 into that, because it's even, isn't it? So let's see, 2 into 1 won't go. 2 into 10, though. 2 into 10 is 5 times, isn't it? <coughs> and then 2 into 2 goes once. So we've got 2 times 51. Now, can you split 51 up? And you might think no, but the answer is that is a, you can split that up. It is a composite number. What, get, what, get, where are you going to figure out goes into 51? I guess one trick is, well, 2 won't go in because it's, because it's odd. But uh, try 3. I mean, you never know. Just have a go with 3. And then try 4 into it and then try 5 into it and stuff. So you just keep Okay, you know, start with two into that, three into that, four into that, five into that. Just keep trying. Sorry, three into two into it, three into it, four into it, five into it, six, and so on. Just keep trying until you find something. But try uh, three into into fifty one. See what happens. Three into five goes. 
one time remainder remainder 2 what's 3 into 21 now 3 into 21 isn't that 7 yep so 51 is 3 times 17 and can we split 17 up into be into anything see if you can split up 17 is that gonna work 2 doesn't go into it, 3 doesn't go into it, 4, does 4 go into it, does 5 go into 17, does 6 go into 17, does 7 go into 17, does 8 go into 17, does 9 go into 17, 10, 11, 12, no, 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 that's not going to work, right? So 17 is prime, so we've got 102 can be written 2 times 51 or 2 times 3 times 17, right? Alrighty, so is it prime or composite? It is definitely composite because it was split up, right? And let's try 294. Let's, you can press pause and do it yourself. And uh, then just skip the video ahead and check your answer, or you can do it slowly with me, whichever you prefer. So we'll what does 294 split up to be? Well, it's an even number, right? So we might try to divide uh, 2 in there, how about that? So let's see if we can divide 2 into 294. So 2 into 2 goes one time. 2 into 9 goes 4 times. Remainder what? Remainder 1. Oh, it's 2 to 14. 2 times what gives 14? 2 to 14 is 7. So we get 2 times 147. Now, you might think that is um, a prime number, but you never know for sure. Just, just see what might go into it. Okay, so you got 147. Now, you know 2 won't go into that because it's a, um odd number. But... Can you try three? See if three works. Just for fun, you never know. Three into fourteen goes four times. Remainder what? Okay, so might have got uh, three into fourteen is uh, four times, and you might have got remainder two, right? And then you've got three into twenty-seven. What's three into twenty-seven? It's 9, isn't it? Right? So 147 becomes 3 times 49. Now can, we know we can't split 3 up, but can we split 49 up? 49 is 7 times tables. 7 sevens, right? 7 times 7? Yep. So 2 times 3 times 7 times 7 will give you 294, right? 2 times 3 times 7 times 7. Alright, and of course uh, that can also be written um, for fun. You can write that as 2 times 3 times 7 squared. Okay, 7 squared, just for fun. If you wanted to. And uh, uh, this one here, uh, where you have, um, y you know, you can also put squares into some of these other answers if you wanted to. Uh, let's see difficult. so this one could be written uh, 2 to the power of 1 2 3 4 2 to the power of 4 okay this one could have been written as 2 times 2 2 squared times 3 right uh, 7 times 2 times 2 could have been written uh, 7 times 2 squared right I think that's them all covered so uh, and this course is a composite number so that's that. And how about 17? Well, 17 is a prime number. It can only be written 17 times 1. That's the best you can do. And that's that.